If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. If this is your first time, I'm glad you're here. Regardless, this subject has piqued your interest because you clicked on it. Be sure to stay till the end for some tips on getting better sleep once you've stopped overthinking. When we begin overthinking, it is very difficult to fall asleep. Thoughts that start to go through our minds run over and over again, causing insomnia. This creates a vicious cycle that can be hard to break out of. We're all guilty of it. You're lying in bed, trying to fall asleep, but your mind starts racing with thoughts. You think about your to-do list for tomorrow, the work you need to finish up before leaving the office. Then you start thinking about what will happen if you don't get everything done. You start thinking about your family, your friends, your job. And it's not long before you start worrying about everything that could possibly go wrong. Worse yet, you start thinking about everything that you did wrong throughout the day. Why did I say that? I'm sure they'll hate me now. Even when you know that your thinking is wrong, you still can't help yourself. Your head is working overtime with all these thoughts and worries. But after a while, you're so exhausted that you finally fall asleep. When you wake up in the morning, you're dragging. Maybe you oversleep so you won't make it to work on time or you miss your appointment. You're worried about what could happen if you don't get everything done and there's a ton of anxiety that comes with waiting to see how things turn out. It doesn't matter how much coffee or energy drinks you consumed in the morning because by lunchtime, your head is foggy again. Your body feels heavy and sluggish. Some people might say, oh, I'll just have one more energy drink, that'll wake me up. But you know what? That will only make your situation worse. Your life and health is being seriously affected by this vicious cycle. I know that a lot of people are struggling with this. It can be easy to overthink things, especially when you're trying your best to do well in school, or even just when you're trying to figure out what to wear. The thing is, overthinking can really get in the way of your ability to do anything. It can get so bad that you're paralyzed and you can't do anything at all. What I want you to know is that's totally okay. If you feel like you're overthinking something, it's okay and you don't need to feel embarrassed about it. Even if these thoughts seem violent and upsetting, there are many that believe that these are simply thoughts. They are not your thoughts. They are just thoughts. So are these thoughts even your own? What about free will? Are we not free to do what we want with our own minds? I have a separate video on this topic on my channel where I dive deep into the free will or the lack thereof. The idea that the heart operates with a will of its own is deeply entrenched in Western culture. Our emotions, our thoughts, and even our physical desires are said to be manifestations of an autonomic private self that resides within us and governs our actions. But this belief that we possess a separate, private self is purely fiction. The autonomic functions of the heart and other organs are just as much a part of our external world as the air we breathe or the ground we walk on. Why couldn't the same be said for your thoughts? Why is it that you can't control whether your heart keeps beating, but you can control what thoughts enter your mind? It's time to stop punishing yourself for thinking something that you know is wrong. This is like punishing yourself for the fact that you can't breathe underwater. It can be hard to step away from your thoughts, whether those thoughts are good or bad. However, it's important to take time for yourself to get a break from overthinking. Here are some ways that you can do this. You could start by keeping a journal. Set boundaries for yourself, i.e. boundaries for your thoughts. Wear a rubber band on your wrist and snap it every time you have an anxious thought. You could use the white noise app on your phone to drown out the voices in your head. You could talk to a friend or family member about what's going on. But by far the most important step is what I outlined before. Take peace in knowing that your thoughts are not your own. These thoughts belong to the universe and you cannot control them. I've been doing a lot of research on the benefits of meditation and I've come across the idea of just letting go. 
It's really hard to just let go of your thoughts, but knowing that I can't control them has really helped me get more in touch with what's going on in my head. So once you have stepped away from your thoughts and let go of the belief that you can actually control them, what can you do to gain better sleep? If you succeed in the steps I will outline, I am convinced that your sleep will improve. Start by limiting your blue screen use. Try cutting this out at least 45 minutes before you go to bed. This means no phone, no TV, no computer. Chances are you found this video while you were having trouble sleeping. Don't worry, just try tomorrow night. If you can, keep your room at an even temperature throughout the night. I find that around 62 degrees Fahrenheit is optimal for me. And last and most important, attempt to wake up to the sunlight. I know this isn't always possible. Try it on your day off or try a sunrise alarm. Waking up to an alarm instantly raises your instincts to a I'm in danger fight or flight reaction. This can set your subconscious into this mode for the entire day. So are you still convinced that you have control over your thoughts? Still convinced that medication is the only possible answer for better sleep? Try meditation. There are many online resources to try out. Once I become more proficient in the practice myself and knowing the power, I will even record my own. Regardless of how you practice meditation, try this. Once every thought has been cleared from your head, recognize the first one that comes to your mind. Was this something meaningful? Did this thought resonate with you? Was this immediate thought a worry about something? Recognize this thought and realize that you did not create it. You can't possibly control it. This is the same thing that continues to happen throughout the day, and it's the same thing that happens when you are trying to fall asleep. You cannot control your thoughts. And once you realize this, your entire world will be shifted into a place of letting go and making peace with yourself. Thank you for watching, and if I earned it, please consider subscribing.